Welcome back. So, uh, basically, this game, Baron, is going on Steam. So, a file download link will not be available. But I will show you guys the development process of how this game was made. To kind of sort of help you guys build a game like this if you want to build a game like this. Um, this is the very sloppily put together room that I just showed you guys in the game pay, bleh, gameplay preview. Um, here is the big house, the big wooden house with the spider webs on it. And this is the little shack, the stone shack you guys saw. Um, I am using top-down two-dimensional sprite colliders for the 3D objects. I am not using any external collision engines. But, uh, yeah, I will show you guys how, let's see, what do I want to show you guys for now? I think I'm just going to show you guys how I did the day and night. Um, since that's what I showed you guys basically in the preview. Essentially, I just drew a, I just drew a transparent film over the screen. A dark blue film over the screen for night. I changed the fog distance and color. That is not where I put the fog. I actually put it in the sky. And the reason I put the fog in the sky and the D3D sky box and not in the viewpoint. As you can see it's not in here. It was taken out and moved. Because the skybox has to have the fog go around it so you can still see it. So to me, it really made no sense to have it on D3D viewpoint when I could just move it to sky and have sky set it. But anyway, this variable here, day, will control the fog color. If it's day, if day is equal to 1, then it will set a dark white fog if it's not day, or if day is set to zero, then it'll set a black fog. And here's the sky box. If it is equal to day, it will draw... Whoops. It will draw... The regular texture sky. If it's not day, or if day is equal to zero, or if it's night, or whatever... It'll draw this texture night sky over the sky box. So, essentially, there's a dark film drawn over the screen, and the sky box changes. And as a result, it makes it look like it's night out. So I need no shaders to do that. Because I really wanted to stay away from shaders and lighting for this game, because I wanted to keep it kind of flat style. And like the, the cool indie pixel look. But yeah. Uh, I think that's really all I'm going to show in this tutorial. Because you guys could like pause it and look at it or whatever you want to do with it. But yeah. I will touch on more in the next video. Which I try to release once every day. Maybe once every two days. But, yeah, I will be right back probably the next day. I'll see you guys in the next video.